In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create consistent and hyper realistic images like these ones that you can see here using this free to use AI text to image tool that is currently available for free and for all. So if you look at these pictures, you can see there is a consistency. The images are hyper realistic. And if you are avoiding a scenario where you are generating a lot of, of images, and they tend to defy in terms of appearance this is one of the tools that i have found will solve that problem my name is isaac and this is a minute with ai to get started go to this website called pick lumen this is the web address picklumen.com and once you get here just click on generate for free i'll sign in with my google account and once you have signed in, you'll get to this interface. Now, as you can see, we have so many creations that people are trying out there and we want to do exactly that. So currently this tool is available for free and you can go ahead and start using it. Now to get started, we shall go to create and here you are notified that your creations are saved for 30 days. Download them or upgrade to keep them for longer. So that is the only precaution that you have to note. So just click on got it and here now we want to begin our creation once you get to this interface you can start by inputting your text here of your creation that you want so i have some prompts here about the story of king david that i want to use to make some consistent photos or images that i'm going to use in my story so we want to create consistent images of king david and we want to get the variation in edges while at the same time making the image consistent and the outcome consistent and as you can see i have several prompts that i want to create images and i'll try out with some of them with you so what you need to do is to go and select the prompt and come to our tool and paste it here and here it is now the next thing we need to do is to select the ratio the aspect ratio so to select the aspect ratio click on this and then select the image size that you want i want to use for creating youtube stories and therefore i'll take the best option for youtube which is 16 by 9. now after that we have an option to choose the number of images we want each creation to produce for this generation for this creation we shall choose two images beyond two images you have to upgrade to be able to generate more than two images per prompt so i'll stick with two and because we want to select or want to create david in different edges we can maybe insert the edge for instance i can say this is a young shepherd boy i can say he's um 10 years old that is 10 years old so to generate your image just click on this button or you can as well use the combination of control plus enter so i'll click on it and let the generation begin and here we go so the generation takes just some few seconds and and you can see here we have now a photo of a young david and if we click on it we can expand it you can click on it to see the outcome and as you can see the images are great so to see the various images you can scroll up or down to see all the list of your images and as you can see they are consistent so to download each just click on this download button and we'll be able to download direct to our computer and then let's also download this and here we go we have the two images downloaded now we want to use this face we want to use this this image to be a guide for us to generate other hyper realistic and consistent images of the same character now let me just show you how we can now create the next image of a grown-up maybe king david but still maintaining the characteristics in the image so i'll go ahead and now take the second prompt now the second prompt is a dramatic scene of young david standing victorious over the fallen goliath and i'll take this and come back to our tool so to create another image i'll need again to go and paste the prompt here but the problem is one if i paste and generate another image it will lose the characteristics of our character so to get a consistent character in our creation select one of the image that you have already created and then head over to this function called remix and here we shall only edit or replace our current prompt with the one we have to get the remix and maintain the same character. So what we'll do here once you have clicked on remix, select your previous prompt and then replace it with your current one. So let's say now he is 16 years. Now because you had already selected the aspect ratio, you don't have to select again. And unless you want to change the number of images, I'll stick to two. 
So let's go ahead and generate. And here we go. And our creation is ready. As you can see, the character is very much consistent. We have only varied the edge and the character is very much consistent. And here are our two photos. Let's go ahead again and download them. And you realize that your images are of high resolution and there is no watermark that is attached to your image. So that's great. Now let's go and create the last one. And the last one, I'll use another prompt where David is in a dimly lit cave. This is David in a dimly lit cave writing on a scroll. So I'll go ahead and select the prompt. Again, here we want to remain consistent. And to remain consistent, I'll select the image and then click on Remix. And then replace, replace the prompt. And say now this time he is 20 years. And create again or generate again the two images. And it is done. Here we go. We have the images done. Now look at that. Look at this image and this image. They are very much consistent. And this is a great, this is a great production. Now you may realize that the beards are short in this image. And in this image, the beards are grown. But look at the face. The face is just the same. So that's how consistent this, this tool is. So if you have been looking for a tool that can create for you consistent images, then you have got one under this. So go ahead and practice with it. Create as many images as you as you can and get to experience the best part of this tool. So go ahead and create your images, download them and then use them to make videos for free. So if this video was helpful to you, kindly hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to support me. Thank you for watching and let's meet in the next video.